Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss the release of my new Gecko G540 Motion Control System Rev2 Edition. For those of you who have already purchased the system from me within the last two months, you know you're very familiar with this system as that's what you've received. For those of you looking at getting involved in CNC, I wanted to do an actual video on this update because it is only a couple updates that have been done to the system but it really justifies a video to show the length I'm going to to try to offer the most bulletproof system on the market when it comes to motion control and doing it affordably. Um, that being said, the first revision that we've done is you can see that the enclosure appears to be gold anodized. The coating on this enclosure is not an anodized coating, it's an EMI coating to prevent EMI interference which is so prominent with our CNC motion controllers. Um, I wanted you guys to have the best. I used this same coating on my ProGrade chassis, and now I'm also offering it on my G540 motion control systems as well. Um, this coating is standard, meaning all my chassis, whether you buy a pre-built one featuring 600 ounce or 300 ounce motors, or a bare bones system, they all will come with this coating, as well as even my bare enclosures. I'm paying extra to have this done. I'm not charging you guys for it. This is something that I feel it will offer an extra level of protection and I want you guys to have the best. That being said, um, the other revision I went inside the chassis to do, I'm gonna cover the build just to show you a couple tweaks that have been done, nothing major, but one significant change. And I am gonna cover that real quick. I'm gonna lift the lid off, go inside. If we go over the build on the unit, once again, um, not too different from my previous build. You can definitely see that heat shrink solder and flux was used on every connection. Um, we definitely have all our wires tied for optimal neatness and airflow. 60 CFM Sanyo Denki cooling fan, brushless of course to last forever. Uh, heat sinks mounted properly to the back of the G540. But what I want to point your attention to is the e-stop. The main component difference uh, revision that I've done is I've actually went in used tin braided copper to shield properly the e-stop you can see she goes all the way back and then of course you could see that the drain from the shield is properly grounded as it should be to the base of the chassis that gives you guys an extra level of protection for the cleanest signal which your e-stop is possible okay so again I wanted you guys to have the absolute best as far as what's offered on the market for this system you can see here, no corners have been cut. This is a customer system. This is not something that I built for this video. This is what's going out. Back of the unit really hasn't changed much. You can see everything is the same. But again, I wanted to update you on those revision changes to the chassis itself. And the next revision change that I want to discuss that's also included with this package is you guys are now getting my new 20 gauge motor cables that are 300 volt rated and also 80 degrees Celsius temp rated. They do feature the, the uh, signal cable. They feature full scale signal cable for construction. They're pre-molded, pre-made, gold connectors on each end. And these cables are included now with all my systems they did increase the price of the system because they had to. Those cables are not cheap to have made. They are made once again with 20 AWG conductors. Um, they also are of course shielded and on top of everything else um, whatever system you get whether once again you get a fully configured system with 300 ounce motors, 600 ounce motors or bare bones you will get these cables included. Okay, this is an all-in-one package. If you want a bulletproof system, this is about as close as you're going to get. Um, I can tell you right now that all the clients now that are getting them, um, especially the motor cable, then everybody has been happy with the fact that the cables are longer than 10 foot. My cables are now 13 feet in length. They give you slightly more length than the 10 foot, but most guys don't need the full 20 or 15, so the 13 foot usually works with most tables. So once again, I'm trying to listen to you guys. Anything I can do to still offer the best value in motion control today, featuring all of the best components, I try to do. Um, again, this system is hand-built. There is no corners cut. You can see exactly, like I said, this is an actual client's controller. It's going out to, today. But uh, I wanted to do the video to give you guys just an idea of the difference of what you can see. And again, I think I've covered every base. 
and hopefully if you guys have any questions you can message me uh, most of you guys have been wonderful we just survived the hurricane and I'm trying to get caught up and I wanted to get this video out because um, a lot of you guys have been a actually asking to see the new Rev 2 edition well it's out this is what will be offered and once again if you guys do have any questions you can contact me at eDealers Direct um, through eBay or you can contact me direct through my email storm s t o r m 2313 at gmail.com thank you all for your support take care